Y Pedri Dembele, how much would they have made a difference in a game like this tonight, Ale? Of course they would have made a difference. Uh, obviously, they would have made a difference. If you have the choice of Pedri being out there, of course you put him out there. Dembele gives you something different. Gavi gives you something different. The profile of Barcelona changes and improves with those players on the field. But I'm not going to give them an excuse, right? It, it, that's too easy and too obvious of an excuse. Barcelona, without those players, for long periods of time in the first half, not only were they dominating the possession, they were dominating the game. The pace was being played with the energy that they wanted, with the rhythm that they wanted and that they had imposed in the match. They go to halftime, and Barcelona was in full control because after the first five, 10 minutes where Manchester United were high pressing, after that, they couldn't quite figure it out and the possession of Barcelona was good enough to dominate the game. They go into halftime, come out of halftime, and I have to imagine that Xavi would have said, hey, hey, guys, you gotta be ready, listos, you gotta be ready because guess what? This team is gonna come out with high pressure again, with urgency, with an intention to get their lines forward to force us into mistakes. And Barcelona, for the first couple of minutes of the second half, they were passive and reckless with their possession, careless with their mistakes, allow Manchester United to gain, regain possession of the ball higher up the field from there, Fred scores the goal. And of course, once they score that goal, there's new life for Manchester United. And to their credit, once there was a sign of life, they took a hold of the game. And now the game was being played in the manner in which Manchester United wanted to play. And it was a little bit more back and forth, and it was more about high pressure. And Barcelona were having difficulties completing passes and getting out of their own half. This, to me, is not so much about who's not on the field as much as what the approach of this team is coming out of halftime and what the message had to be at halftime and how these players were unable to deliver on that message. Credit to Manchester United, but Barcelona gave them an opportunity.